Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So I'm going to be covering a pretty big tutorial today. It's going to be the install failed validation failed for the Unity Hub. A lot of people have been getting this, mainly Mac users. So I'm going to be covering a lot of different ways how to actually fix this. Some will be for Windows, some will be for Mac. Uh, I'm not going to be covering anything for Linux as I don't use it. Everything else is going to be pretty close to the same for both Mac and Windows. Although, like I said, Mac is going to have a lot more issues. So the main reason that I can tell that this happens is that Unity Hub is trying to create uh, certain sub directories and directories if they do not exist. And if they do not exist, the hub, of course, needs to access those with privileges. And when it does create those, it doesn't have those uh, by default, the privileges by default. So such as run as administrator, it does not actually have that. So that's the, going to be the first thing that you want to actually do is make sure down in your tray down at the bottom, it'll be down back down here. Make sure that Unity Hub is off. Make sure the tray icon is exited. So you just go down here, you'll right click and then you'll exit that you can always make sure that's not running by going to the task manager but for all of these steps you pretty much want to make sure that unity hub is not running so just make sure that that's all off so the first one is of course going to be going to the unity hub icon and you can actually right click and you can run as administrator and so that's the first fix that you can do so the second part if that did not fix it you got to make sure that your machine is actually running as admin or at least the account that you're on has admin privileges so that you can actually access it as well. So make sure that you are logged in as admin. And then from there, since you're on and logged in as admin for Mac users, you may want to change the install uh, directory. So you might also have to create the hub in editor folder manually first, similar to what you see on the screen here. You might have to go into a certain area wherever you want to have it and manually actually create the hub and editor folder. So when you go into there, make sure you set all of these permissions as well for the intended user. And to do that for Mac, it's going to be something like this sudo chown user your user so whatever your username is and depending if you're in a group or not you may have to add like wheel in here uh, but basically you want to create the folders and then uh, install to those folders one of the issues that had caused this is the problem occurred when unity hub and the editors try to install under another user that doesn't exist anymore or another folder that doesn't exist anymore so you want to do something like this if you're a Mac user here. And then if that doesn't work, you might have to go into your security and uh, privacy settings and give Unity Hub full disk access is another thing that you might have to do. And if that doesn't work, you can always try to downgrade to an earlier version of Unity. So I know a lot of people are going to be asking, well, how do you downgrade the Unity Hub version? Unfortunately, Unity doesn't really back up and archive their Unity Hub. They only really do that with the versions of the Unity Editor. But if you go to the forms, the Unity forms, you can actually search and find through the hub here different uh, versions. So they have a discussion here, for example, and I believe it was just updated in the on the 27th of October which is just about uh, three weeks ago about three weeks ago and I believe if you click on one of these it'll actually take you to the Wayback Machine I'm not a fan of the Wayback Machine just because it's uh, it's not really user friendly but if you know kind of what date the backup had occurred you can actually just click on it I can actually click down here uh, say October this one here and I just updated it and I wanted to kind of go to a different version it'll come down here and it'll actually download so you can actually see here's the unity hub and then once it's done downloading I can actually go into my downloads and I can actually 
check out the version by just right clicking on it once it finishes download. So if I actually go into here, let me just pull this up first. So if I come over here, if I go into the setup here, I can actually uh, check the property. Uh, is it going to be in property or do I need to just hover over? I can just hover over it. So this is the 3.3 version of the Unity Hub. So there we go there. And then, you know, I could actually install it. So the further back you go, does it say here? It may not say here, which sucks. Um, unfortunately so the further back i go the different uh, versions i'm going to get so that's how you would get like the older version is the way back machine that's one of the only methods that i know about someone a while back did post on i believe mega or um google drive i actually was google drive one of the old versions as well so you can use whatever browser that you have and you can actually search and try to find one as well but if you go to the unity forums just go to the hub and search for the unity hub download archive and like i said you can find this it's any of these links here will work another issue that may be causing it is the apple private relay as you can see right here basically you want to actually turn that off but before you do like I said before, make sure that you have all of the instances of Unity Hub and Unity closed uh, before you do that. And then just turn it off, disable it, and then try to reopen Unity Hub and install again. Another thing is normally when you install Unity Hub or when you're installing it, same with the editors, it may, it should ask if you want to grant permission uh, access for it to go through the firewall or your antivirus. It's happened twice, I believe, one for the ed hub and one for the editor for me. So you can always go down, like for Norton, you can go down to the bottom, you can right click and you can actually temporarily disable it for say like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, or until you want to turn it back on. For Windows, they have you know the Windows firewall. If I go here, I, you can actually type a, like allow and it'll come up. Uh, if that's not coming up, you can always type uh, Windows Defender or Windows Firewall and this will pop up. And then right over here, this is Windows 11, like I said, you can choose to allow certain programs and software to go through so then I can you know come over here and I can choose to make them public private uh, and whatnot and I can choose what I want to actually go through so just make sure that the Windows firewall is allowing uh, access if not you and you can't find it you can actually temporarily disable the firewall as well just by going down to the corner to your whatever the uh, defend you have, uh, I believe I can just open it you can actually allow the app through the firewall here as well. Uh, firewall notifications. Uh, normally I wouldn't recommend turning any of your antivirus off or uh, and any your firewall, anything like that. Uh, but if you're having trouble with Unity Hub, it's a trusted software. If you know where you got it from, if you got it from the official site, it's a trusted software, so you should be fine as long as you're not trying to download stuff while you're trying to do this, but you should be safe. Another thing that you can do is actually turn off uh, notifications and turn off your user account control, your UAC. Uh, for how to do that is you'd come down here to your search bar and you'll type control panel. So if I type control panel, I'll go to users and like I said this is a Windows 11 machine I'll go to user account and then from there I can actually modify uh, my account here so I can change and then I can actually drag it and it's already at never notify uh, just because I run a lot of different software and I can't remember when I did this but that's uh, never notify me uh, hit OK uh, and you can turn off the user account control and then if you want, you can actually go to change account type and just make sure that you're running under administrator as well. You can see it here. So I've checked. I am under administrator uh, and then I can just close this down here. 
So another issue that may cause this is a VPN. I've said that uh, at the start there, that that might be one of the causes and it is one of the big causes. I think it's the number two reason besides the administrator access not being on as uh, run as administrator. So if you have a VPN, you can try changing locations or you can temporarily disable it. Some people, I've actually heard one case where someone wasn't able to access Unity Hub and they actually went and got a VPN and then checked a different location and was able to actually download Unity Hub. So just make sure that your VPN is not causing the issue as well as it has in the past. So there's two ways to do this next part and that is basically what you could do is delete the temp folder, uh, anything with the Unity Hub in the temp folder to clear that out. Now, I'll show you the easiest way. All you need to do is at the bottom, go to whatever search you're using at the bottom here, and then you'll type the percent and then in caps temp, and then you can actually go here. And then you're actually in your local temp. This is normally the directory of it. Uh, and then this is actually what you'd be deleting. So it'd be something actually like this to get to the local and then temp. And then you just clear that out. And so there should be Unity stuff here. So like I like as you see the icon here is here's Unity. I don't see any Unity Hub at the moment. I know there should be a Unity Hub or Unity CBM crashes. And what you can do is just delete all of those. And then from there, you can actually go to your recycle bin. So here's my recycle bin. Uh, and then I can actually just remove all of those as well. Uh, there's actually some pretty big size stuff in here. I can actually just delete all that too. Another thing that we can do, so I put some code up here for the notepad. So one's for Windows, another is for Mac, and then the third is for Linux. I believe this is where the folders should be. So what we want to do is actually delete the cache. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a folder here. So actually, I actually just close this and start a new one to show you where it is freshly. What I can do is I can actually come up here. I can grab, I believe it's going to be in the app data. I believe is where it's going to be. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. And so here is the cache right here. I'm actually going to right click on this and I'm going to delete it. So I just deleted it. So then you can actually delete it from the recycle bin as well. So here we can delete that. Boom. And so that's another thing that you can try right there. Now, the key point is to make sure that you have Unity Hub completely closed. Like I said before, for all of these steps, you want to make sure that Unity Hub is closed. Now, hopefully that has worked for you. Like I said, if it doesn't, you may have to downgrade uh, Unity Hub like where I showed you. But those are the main issues and fixes for this issue. Like I said, just make sure it's under administrator. That is the main reason for Windows VPN as well. For Mac, like I said, Mac tends to have the most issue with Unity Hub and it's something to do with the Android and trying to either create folders and directories without actually having full permission. Make sure that everything has permission. Uh, make sure you have everything shut off when you do try all these methods, uh, all, everything for Unity, I mean, Unity Hub. Like I said, make sure in your tray, your tray is shut off. So if I come down here, I have it open here. Yeah, just make sure you quit Unity Hub. Make sure that your firewall is allowing access. If you're unsure, like I said, you can temporarily disable it. Make sure your antivirus isn't affecting it. So it's all about just making sure that Unity is able to get access and get permission. I'll also put the form link in the description down below. So if you do have to get an older one, you can actually go to the form there and then click and go through to the, the Wayback Machine and then uh, use uh, that to get the older version. So I'll put that down in the description down below. I'll put some of this code as well for anyone that's interested in, you know, trying to figure out what file, file location it is for the Explorer. And hopefully this helped you. If it did, leave a like, comment down below for 
other people to find this video. If this didn't work for you, but you're able to find out different solutions, feel free to comment down below what worked for you, what machine you're on, whether you're on Mac, Windows, whatever it may be, to uh, help others out as well. And uh, thanks for watching everyone. Like I said, if this helped you, leave a like, comment down below so that other people can find it and have a great day.